Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Pisces. Oh yeah. <laughs> and we have the zodiac sign here of Pisces, which is right. Hmm, where did you go? Probably the one I had right off the bat. Now I can't find it. Oh, I think that's it right there. Yes, right there. Pisces, I don't know if you can see that. Anyhow, that's what the design is for your zodiac sign. And we're going to begin with the love. Let's see what happens for you, Pisces. All right, we have something that came up codependency. Now, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, Pisces, that's okay. Codependency, you can look that up to find out what that can mean about certain behaviors that you may have. And that it's okay to be on your own, to do things for yourself. Some people don't like to be by themselves and find it really hard. This person is your soulmate, Pisces. This could be your soulmate who is codependency as well, or it could be the person you're with right now and you have a soulmate coming in for you. Let's have a look what the stars have to say. All right, we have, I better put my glasses on. <laughs> The father of the sky, God, I release the weight of the world from my shoulders. Okay, that's number seven. That's reflecting and assessing, gaining knowledge, maybe even about spirituality. And then we have the mother of the sea, goddess, I surrender to the boundless creative flow of the ocean. So being in the flow, letting go. What's on the bottom of the deck? The mystic. So one of you is a mystic here. We have the Ascended Masters with 44 coming in. Someone that is in your lineage possibly here. An ancestor that's passed over. Wow, I weave my magic and surrender to the universe. Okay, would you look at that? That's beautiful. Okay, let's keep going here for Pisces. Let's crack the deck here. We have appreciation. So it was in the reverse. I don't usually have those as reversals because they are all the Oracle cards. They are usually upright, but possibly in the past, maybe you didn't appreciate somebody here. Number six, which is cooperating, harmony, and maybe restoring something that you once lost for somebody or learning a lesson about appreciation. Yeah, this person was your yin to your yang. This is the Sun to Masters coming in. This could be the soulmate here that possibly was codependent in the past, or this could be you. Take it however it resonates. Flip it, switch it, do whatever you need to do for it to resonate for you. Let us see what we have on the bottom of the deck. Tricky. So, hmm. Uh, so somebody maybe was trying to yeah play a lot of games here trickery and facade maybe not being who you really are or your person wasn't hmm this could be friends relatives um, siblings it could be anyone in your group there could be you take it how it resonates you're gonna know what's what for you yeah there's a thief here now this could be a thief tricking you out of your time love energy let's see mm. there was an ending here we have number six and number ten so six was restoring something but it's an ending whatever this was there's too much involved I'm getting here 
Let's look at your relationship, Pisces. Let's see what's going on for you. Now, you either ended it with somebody that was taking from you and not giving back, but this person fit you quite nicely with the yin and the yang. Yeah, this this revol this wasn't evolving. Um, and now there's that healing of that inner child. There's some growth here. Possibly that codependency, there's growth with that. They've they've grown up a bit. A relationship evolving to the next phase. Maybe that is something you're looking for or your person is. Whoa. Okay, let's see. Yeah, whoever this is, this is you. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun, yeah. So either this is you or your person here. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Heart with the key. Key to your heart. Welcoming love. Meeting the one. Open your heart. Getting together. Perfect. So this could be your one here that you're going to be meeting here or somebody that you lost in, er in order to grow. Sometimes you have to lose something in order to realize um, their worth or your own worth. To take however that resonates for you. Let's see here. Let's crack the deck again. We have your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. Perhaps your person is a Capricorn or whoever the soulmate is, is having something pay off for them. Let's see, we have a time to give rather than take. So if this was your soulmate not giving and just taking, um, they're learned a lesson about equal give and take here, uh, about maybe playing games or having some type of facade, maybe manipulation, or this could be you, take it however it resonates for you. Not calling anybody out, I'm just reading the cards. <laughs> let's crack the deck. Yin. So let's see which part of this is your yin. Which is I might be talking to a feminine Pisces or your soulmate is. Take it how it resonates. No place like home. So you really feel at home with this person. There's number five. This may be a change in your home life regarding a feminine so perhaps you're with somebody now and there's someone else coming in for you or this person feels that you are their house isn't like a home without you I'm getting a hmm. let's see here let's crack the deck on this going forward so somebody's still moving forward regardless of this now there might have been too much going on here for this there's gain and wisdom here about what's going to be acceptable I feel I'm not appreciating somebody I'm taking them for granted it's kind of what I'm getting here let's see what are we looking at when it comes to career here for Pisces hmm Life purpose fully supports you. So whatever endeavor you are doing, Pisces, or your person is doing, it will support them or you or the both of you with whatever uh, comes of it. They may even want support from you or they feel supported when they are with you. We have family. There's family means a lot to this person or you to you loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose this may be that family is a big part of who you are I'm getting that in your chart you land your sun sign might be sun moon or rising maybe even Venus is in your family part of the chart let's see Maybe your family helps support you or family is a big part of this here. Let's see what emotions are coming in here. 
self-esteem yes somebody realized their self-worth this could be you this could be a person because we do have your soulmate here and grief okay so there's some loss feeling here Pisces you could be feeling the loss of the soulmate maybe they ended something with you because maybe there was too many things going on too many games being played or not being true to who you are not appreciating them or this is them not appreciating you okay so you may want this to come back together or your person does let's get the tarot in here and we'll do the after tarot for each of the oracle cards we will add a card to it and see what we get maybe it will give us a little bit more about what's going on here what is this codependency with the soulmate codependency with soulmate i feel like whoever you are you're a different person now and perhaps so is your soulmate there's sometimes you have to lose something for you to realize some self-worth here Maybe this affected this person's self-esteem or it affected yours with all this trickery and facade. Yeah, somebody feels like they missed the boat here. They missed an opportunity with you. They may have been maybe you weren't much of a challenge let's just put it this way or your person wasn't much of a challenge. They're always giving, always giving, always chasing, always chasing and there was no balance there i kind of feel like maybe you were bored with this person because they did everything for you or maybe it's reversed however it resonates right let's see here yeah Okay, so I surrender to, in the flow, the mystic, whoever this is, this mystic here is maybe in their purpose. I feel like they are building a legacy here. This could be you, this could be your person. Let's see what this yin and yang and appreciation is. Yeah, you want to fight for this. Pisces, you want to come in and do battle or your person does. They really feel that you two fit together quite well. What's the trickery? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Sorry. What's the trickery and the facade here? What is that we're dealing with? Okay, somebody's feeling like a wounded warrior or they felt like they were the victim. Building up walls here, not taking responsibility for their actions. I feel like projection here. Somebody may have projected something. Yeah, but something's coming to light. Hmm. A truth is coming forward. Okay. And somebody is no longer feeling a financial constraint here. We're no longer feeling like they're out in the cold. That self-esteem is really built up here. With the Five of Pentacles in reverse, it's a positive change from walking away and needing to, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Po that's positive. The Nine of Pentacles, you're doing well for yourself, Pisces. Yeah, you've been really patient here. A lot of time may, is, may have gone by. Wow, you are getting a blessing coming in when it comes to love whoa and somebody's bossed up to the emperor now this could be your person or this could be you take it how it resonates for you becoming the emperor being in charge of your own life here i feel like with the emperor here this is all that passion this is about stability and wealth and being a leader i kind of feel like this is a blessing coming in here that something's going to pan out for you. Let's see. What's the butterfly? Why is the butterfly here? Healing the inner child. Relationship evolving to the next phase. Somebody's grown up here. Perhaps you both have. Oh, there may have been some hostility, some conflict of interest. 
I'm kind of feeling with the five of swords like this is somebody wanting to win at all costs so there's arguments here there's a difference of opinion here or somebody else might be trying to come in yeah somebody's healed already they're recovering from something here yeah there's balance here yeah from somebody walking away so there may have been some hostility about somebody walking but they they're over it now there's justice here there's balance that Libra energy we have Pisces coming out in their own reading with the moon here and with the Emperor that is Aries Hmm. So there's a lot of, I feel like the self-worth has come through here on this hugely that somebody's realized just what they're worth. There's a different appreciation for themselves. Perhaps they're walking in their purpose here. What is the time to give rather than take here for Pisces? Okay, somebody does not want somebody to walk away. They did not. So whether that was you or your person. Oh, yeah, this is somebody from the past. This is somebody you've been with. The soulmate. Ah, this was your ten of cups here. You're wanting to have a victory here, a marriage. Wow, so you really want to be with this person that has walked away maybe even more than once in your life perhaps you thought they would never walk away fully they always came back and I feel like this time they did not let's see no place like home what are we looking at here yeah this person really made you happy they're happy kind of go lucky kind of person here this queen of wands kind of have that fiery disposition though very beautiful energy uh, very confident determined very optimistic very happy go lucky really easy to get along with but I feel like something's come to light about this person just maybe how much you miss them or they miss you Let's see. This person really did make you happy. And this may have been a bit of a shock to realize. Maybe you didn't want them to leave. Yeah, they may have schooled you. You may have learned a lot. They may have learned how to be financially stable on their own or how to make their own money. With the Queen of Wands, that's somebody that could have started their own business or they are doing better financially. I feel, yeah, you might be having thoughts of this person or this person can't get you out of their mind. Let's see. With the wisdom and the going forward, somebody... I feel like it might be spirit or angels or ancestors or spirit guides that are <laughs> trying to give you or your person some wisdom uh, by not letting them stop thinking about you, having those nightmares of perhaps you moving on and marrying someone else or your person moving on and marrying someone else. I feel like this is not possessiveness or anything like that it's more that you're hoping things would change between you yeah this is a real big burden they've put on you they <laughs> I feel like this is something that's weighing down on you yeah crying over spilt milk here on the bottom of the deck with the five of cups just really hard to get over they were the one they were your person I feel like this this was a big learning curve for somebody here. What's this family and support here? My family supports you in whatever you're doing. Oh, this person might be very apprehensive, uh, kind of guarded, only wanting truth. Come up and speak your truth to me, but it better be the truth. I'm not um I feel like there may be forgiveness here though. 
Let's see, what else do we have here? Yeah, whoever this is, they're a sweetheart. So kind of guarded though, maybe against you or your family. There could be two people here <clears throat> as well. You might be with somebody who's codependent and they may be their soulmate or you have a soulmate coming in here that used to be codependent. I feel like there's a lesson here. Somebody's gained that self-esteem here. And I feel like the other is grieving over the fact of this loss, learning as well about not being who they truly are or trying to trick someone to stay or, yeah, because this big ending really hit home for somebody here. What's the grief? Tell me about the grief here. What is the grief here? Mm, yeah. I kind of feel with that this blessing, this financial blessing here is a loss, is a lack mindset here due to some grief. Could have had this with this person. Could have moved forward with this person with this. I feel like it was fumbled. This is either you or your person. Yeah, you don't even want to go in to see if this person might take you back or they're worried about coming forward. I feel like they feel like this is final. What's the self-esteem? Give me a card for the self-esteem. What is that? What's the self-esteem? This one wants to come. Ah, oh, marriage. <laughs> this person might be looking for the one, the one to marry, or maybe you were married to this person, Pisces. Let's get another card for that. Yeah, this person has boundaries now. They know their self-worth. They won't settle for anything less than what they deserve. I feel like they've gained a lot of wisdom here. Maybe you have as well or vice versa. Whoever it is that's learned about their self-esteem, that they are worthy of this love or they are worthy of having a great love with their soulmate. Let's see here what's on the bottom of the deck. What is your intuition telling you, Pisces, about your soulmate? Mm, it might be a decision to make or your person might have a decision to make here. And what about your person? Ah, King of Swords. So this may be somebody that is willing to come in and tell truth here. Because the King of Swords is very disciplined and very serious about this matter. They have a lot of integrity. They're very smart. They may have authority in their job. And they have a reason why they want to tell some type of truth. Now, this could be you coming in in your masculine side if you are a feminine. Or this could be your person showing up because they are the... Um, emperor they could be showing up in part of their kings because you have to have all four kings in the upright to be the emperor now this also could mean that someone else is coming in there might be a decision to make between two people here maybe between you Pisces and someone else or you're having to make the decision about a soulmate and maybe somebody you're with right now. So let's have a look, because I do feel like somebody is with somebody that may even be codependent on them, or I kind of feel like they're with somebody, but I don't feel like this is who you really want to be with. Now, Pisces, if you are with somebody and you are thinking about somebody else, you've settled. <laughs> so you're not going after what your true heart's desire. And regardless of whether you win or lose, without taking that chance, how do you know what's going to happen, right? If you, you, you're going to settle because it's comfortable and you at least have someone, well, that's not the reason to be with someone. You're wasting the other person's time on who they could really find to love them. And in a sense, you're wasting your own time in a sense because you're with somebody that you don't truly, your heart true desire isn't with this person. 
Now, let's get these. Let's find out a little bit more about this soulmate and codependency and who feels like they missed the opportunity here. Let's see here. Yeah, somebody wants to plan for the future. They really felt they missed the boat on this. They may have been codependent. You may have been. It's however it resonates for you. I'm just reading the cards now. I kind of feel like had you not missed this opportunity, you could have built this with this person, or this is how they are feeling about you. Let's see here. Yeah, there's kind of a spelt milk because this is a lost opportunity. However, you are looking at these other two cups behind you or your person is. So they are still looking at what kind of love is still in the cups here. They're not so much crying over what was lost anymore. They're looking at what's coming in or you are. Let's see. What's the yin and yang with somebody coming in to fight for this? These two want to come out. Okay, that King of Swords is here. Somebody's coming to fight in and they want to do that equal give and take. Be generous, more generous with their time. I feel like this is that give and take here of that equality. And maybe not trying to trick somebody and fool them. Whatever is being revealed, I feel like it is your person coming in to tell you this truth or you're finding out about this truth okay now remember there might be two people here we have the emperor and we have a king of swords here and there is a decision between two people or quite possibly you may have to decide between two let us see here what is being revealed with the moon here what is the moon what was what was the trickery Somebody wants to win at all costs here. Now, if it's all about winning, this has to do with ego. It's not so much, I want to say, the cause gets lost with the ego because now you're being too proud to actually, it's all about being right instead of whatever you're fighting over in the first place. So... And, and doing something at all costs, even if it's trickery or some type of facade, really that usually comes back to bite you in the ass and karma comes back around for that. Yeah, there is somebody wanting to slay this. There's the Knight of Swords who is definitely coming in to fight for something here. Now, if you have to <laughs> try to trick somebody or to, f to win, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's not being true either. Let's see. What is this blessing and this emperor here? Somebody is single now. Somebody has en ended. And whatever this thief was, I feel like that, that part has ended. Let's see, what is going on here with the blessing with the emperor? What is this blessing with the emperor? Oh, somebody might be taking an offer here. Somebody might be very happy about this offer. Somebody might be happy that they're doing well financially. The Queen of Pentacles is all about that material success, being financially set, having resource resources or being resourceful, reliable and practical, very nurturing type of energy. That is that um, definitely having some type of success. We did see the Queen of Wands here somewhere. Yeah, it might be your person that you see as the Ten of Cups that's doing well, or this could be you. Take it how it resonates. Let us see. What is this walking away? somebody's over something and there's a competition here there's balance with the Libra coming in with the scales wanting to do something right somebody's paying some karmic debts perhaps 
Ooh, there is a new passionate beginning started here. Now we also had under this the butterfly, which is evolving to the next phase on a relationship. This is a growth from something. Somebody has somebody's key to the heart here. This is their ace. Wow, look at that. The Empress is coming in with this Emperor. Wow, what? It is another blessing here. Another chance at a blessing possibly. And I feel like this is very healing energy. This person, this Empress, she may be very healing for this Emperor and may even be getting some recognition for something same with this winning here somebody winning something over someone else wow look at that <laughs> the heart of the reading right here what now if you are the empress look at what you're getting you're getting two blessings you are a star maybe a star seed i'm getting <laughs> you are somebody's hope um wish fulfillment or they're hoping to have this with you like wow you've both evolved to becoming an emperor and empress now you may have done financially well for yourself pisces if you're the emperor and if you are the empress you're doing just as well wow <laughs> What is this here? This Ten of Cups, marriage, winning at all costs here. What else did we have under here? Yeah, someone from your past. And somebody you really did not want to walk away from you. Wow, or you walk having to walk away from them. Yes, yeah, so you have your sights on this person, whether it's the Empress or if you are the Emperor. You're wanting to move forward. You you are aiming at this person to come in. You have your sights set on this person. Yeah, but something may have to be revealed here. Somebody's showing up in the moon card in the after tarot. And this is kind of telling me that there's something has to be revealed first for all this to come in. Maybe some type of truth about this trickery or facade. Now let's see, what is this no place like home? Somebody got schooled here or somebody's learning something new or having to go back to school. It could be that somebody's learning how to financially be stable. What have we got here? We have justice here. Now even though it was in the reverse, I only read these in the upright for the after tarot. I've done it both ways, but in this reading, I've set the intention to read it in the upright. Now, this is definitely justice. So somebody is definitely getting justice for something here. The karmic debts have been paid, possibly on both sides of this. Somebody's learned their self-worth. Somebody's learned maybe about codependency and that Maybe that they I feel like somebody screwed something up here by doing too much. Yeah, somebody somebody dumped out a blessing here. So, but I feel like whatever is being revealed here, either your person is going to dump out this blessing or they did in the past. They may do it now. They may not take you back or you may not take them back. Take it how it resonates. What's this justice here? Somebody's getting justice. Oh, somebody might be getting justice about what they may have manifested here. They had all the tools that they needed on all of their elements here with the pentacle, the wand, the cup, and the sword. So, hmm. What can you tell me about the burden and the nightmares here? This wisdom that was learned. Ooh. Somebody is watching somebody gain a legacy here, building a legacy, very strong foundation. And they're they're happy all on their own at this point. They're self-sufficient. I feel like they with the nine of cups here, this is kind of like that contentment or they've 
reach some type of achievement here a sense of well-being and somebody's watching this it may be a burden to you or your person to see this they may have nightmares that they missed out on this let me see here about this queen of swords and queen of cups this is somebody that's a sweetheart for the queen of cups and also for the queen of swords somebody that may be a little reluctant or guarded so it could be the same person just showing up with the two queens especially with the empress here just showing two sides of herself yes somebody may have chosen a cup right now here whoa okay and we have the king of cups here so we have a king of cups with the king of swords so now this could be two people this could be the emperor showing up in their serious side and then their loving side so take it however it resonates for you but there is a decision somebody is going to make here or needs to make this might be you if you're a masculine or you if you are a feminine so there is somebody here that is choosing a cup now it could be this king of cups who is the emperor that is choosing you or has to choose between two feminines now if you are the feminine this could be um you showing up in who you are and there may be two people that you have to choose from so take it how it resonates for you so you know who you are in this reading right so let's see what is this marriage card the boundaries somebody not coming in for this opportunity um and with the what is that again the knight of wands yeah the knight of wands the writing's so small so it's hard for me to see it now this is in the reverse this knight of wands so this is somebody that maybe is impatient about this maybe even was superficial and missed out on this blessing this financial blessing they're grieving about that even possibly now this may have been a grief over marriage but somebody's got boundaries because there's self-esteem here so what is this self-esteem with the boundaries and the marriage card perhaps somebody is spiritual has traditions or values that they have they value themselves more what do we have here wow okay so somebody here this queen of swords could be this empress here could be the masculine showing up in their feminine side but there's some truth that needs to be had from someone from the past here somebody that they were married to or you were married to maybe you have boundaries in place now and only and only if a truth is told now it could be a truth on both sides here because we have the king and queen of swords this is a divine union here regardless we have a divine union here so this is this may be a no-brainer for somebody here that this is kind of destined to be here so what is this i'm kind of feeling like you have to make a decision pisces or your person does take it or resonates let's see what you are thinking of when your it comes to your intuition yeah you are thinking about decision about marriage moving in and moving forward and what about your person Ooh, walking away okay so this may not let's see why are they wanting to still walk away ah got caught red-handed here in a sense perhaps somebody didn't learn from this trickery here could be the masculine could be the feminine but somebody walked away and maybe is just not going to come back in for you yeah they have the i okay so they have the power they're above all rest all the rest to make this decision i feel like this is um you may not have the power in this decision making this might be their decision to make 
Pisces. So this could be your person still wanting to walk away. What is the decision about marriage? Mm. Wanting to heal this marriage. You may want to heal this so you can get back to your marriage. Maybe you were once married. Maybe you're divorced now. You want to heal this and get married again. Or you want to heal this connection. Perhaps you had family with this person. Because I do see people coming home here. One more time, let's crack the deck. Yeah, um, there might have been, hmm, with the 501s here, this could have been some type of, I want to say, <laughs> some type of complex struggle or conflicting opinions between the two of you about this. I guess we'll have to see next time how this actually unfolds because this is what I've got for you Pisces. So do they actually go or do you actually heal this? What was the decision that gets made here? Somebody might want to heal this and the other one may feel that too much was done in the past and want to walk away. What is this card trying to peek out? <laughs> Coming back together here. Maybe becoming friends first? Hmm. There's still a lot of love from this person. Might be that they don't want to do this again. So... <laughs> Okay, Pisces, we're going to have to see what happens next time. So please like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe. <laughs> if you'd like to donate, you can donate in the description box with the PayPal account. You can click on that. It'll take you right to PayPal. Or you can do the super thanks however you want to do it if you want to donate. You don't have to, of course, you, just by watching the videos. That certainly helps the channel and I appreciate each and every one of you. The new ones as well as the people that have been here for a while being very supportive of the channel. I thank you, thank you, and thank you. So appreciative. Okay, Pisces, there's also a chance to win a free reading that is designated for you. It's specifically for you. It's personalized and it is via email. And if you win, you can just email me. Oh, I will obviously post who the winner is on the community tab of my channel. If you'd like to learn how to win this $140 value free reading, you can go to the community tab and there is a post in there exactly how to go about winning this $140 Canadian uh, value of a free reading. So <laughs> all you have to do is take a look in there and follow the instructions and good luck to you. Now if you do want to gift away this free reading to someone else, the person you want to gift it to must want to have the reading. <laughs> you also have to have their permission to give me their name and they will have to email me so I can email back their free personalized video. So, <laughs> all right, that is what I have. Please take care. Stay blessed. We'll see you guys next time. Later.